Ah, you need to you need to turn the YouTube channel off in the background. It's off. You still hear it? No, go ahead. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm good. What do you got for me? Um, so you want us to talk about the issue with black men dating outside of their race, right? Well, I, I'm asking, why do you think they do? High value, um, especially the I high think, value guys, because that's that's who you care about. I mean, I think the high value men. I mean, there's such there's a such there's such a small percentage of high value men out okay, there. Okay, let's just talk about the ones that earn over six figures, ten percent. Um, I think some of them. You know, they have a preference. Some of them like a certain woman. I mean, I think everybody likes different things. And when you're a high value man or woman, obviously, you know, when you have money, you have the ability to be able to, you know, go out there and get other things. You know, money other things, can buy other, love, other things, but, other know, things like what? Hold on, hold on. Other things like what? You said they tend to like other things like quality. Better, you can you can get better quality women when you have more money you're able to make yourself look better you're able to look more presentable so therefore you're able to go out there and and so let, let's make people. it let's make let's make it simpler so uh, there's a guy as a black man he makes a hundred thousand dollars or more in dallas houston atlanta and yeah he makes more but he's still in the top 10 percent of earners why can't the qualities that you're talking about, do they exist in black women? Um, I mean, there there are, I think there are quality black women out there. You know, it's just sad that, you know, it, it may seem like, you know, to a lot of people that there aren't high quality black women out there. But I think the reason for that is because a lot, a lot of what we see on the media. I don't think high quality black uh, women okay, okay. raise see, themselves on social media and all wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Or they're taking. Wait, wait, or wait, 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 wait. No, 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 can't. Don't over talk. Okay. Now you're starting to lose me. Why? Because you. I asked of the qualities you're saying that a guy would want. I asked you. Do they exist in black women? Yes. Okay. Then if they exist in black women, why aren't they being picked? I, some black men are not attracted to black women. Okay, ma'am. See, now you're about to lose me again. I'm not trying to lose you, Kevin. Yeah, because I think you're starting to become disingenuous. Because you, because what you're doing is trying to split a hair. Well, what, what are you, what are you Listen, like listen, 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 answer. listen. Okay. Can you hear me when I'm talking? I can. Don't get frustrated with me. I'm here. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, sir. <clears throat> Sorry. Because I shouldn't have to keep over talking you. I can hear you when you speak. I'm just asking a question. If, okay, ma'am. Temper. Yes, maybe there are a percentage of men who prefer different things, but most people prefer their own race. So can we just stick to the majority of the conversation? Let's say the qualities you were talking about. I asked you, do they exist in black women? You said they do. I said, why aren't those women getting picked? And you went to the minority. Some people don't like their own race, but the majority of people do. Can we stick to the majority? That's all I'm asking. I, I understand what you're asking. Um, I also think it's a difficult question, but I think it's a question that can be answered in several different ways. Why are these men not picking black women? I think some of them are, some of them aren't. The ones who aren't picking the black women are not attracted to black women. They've dated black women. They've had bad experiences with black women. Some of them, some of them, you know, some, some women are going to say, oh, they hate themselves. Maybe some of them do hate themselves. All I right. don't know, but I don't know many black women. So do high, to most high value men, do most high value men pick women from their own race across the world? Is that a fact? I'm asking you. Oh, I don't know the answer to that question. I don't know if that's a fact that high value black men uh, okay, usually okay. want to date do black mo women. Do most people pick people from their own race? Yes. So then it stands to reason that most high value men pick... High you don't see... Correct. Listen, you don't see high value white men marrying non-black women, marrying non. So I'm saying that 
what you're doing is you're kind of splitting hairs. And here's the here's what I honestly think. I think the qualities that you're saying that they look for in other women are not as readily available in most black women today. And the number one quality is cooperation. Oh, yeah, I totally agree with that. Black women, including myself, are very uncooperative at times unless we find a man that we feel is masculine and we feel safe with. You know, black women, we're very that's emotional. Bull, that's, that's bull crap. You think because, so? That, 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 yeah, because basically, well, let's just say it's not bull crap. That's another, that's a fancy way of saying that I have, that we have to handle you in order for you to act like women should act. You have to choose to put down the BS, but it's a choice. But don't you think that's realistic? No, but I don't. Don't you think what no, you I just don't. said is no, I don't. realistic I don't, when it I don't comes think to it black is. women? I think no, I don't. I don't think it is. You're over talking me. All right. This is going to go real bad. How old are you? <laughs> 38. Uh-huh. That's nice. <laughs> Can I speak? Yeah, that's the no man's land sound. <laughs> because know. what you're saying ultimately doesn't work because you're un because you're unmarried and alone that's why i said it, it makes no sense because it doesn't work go ahead i don't understand what you mean it doesn't what doesn't uh, work it doesn't work it means you, you don't get me. husbands you lost me i'm sorry say that again. okay it doesn't work meaning you don't get the outcome desired meaning being married. See, we judge very simply over here by outcomes. And the outcomes is if you keep your, if you keep on, I'm going to keep fighting and I'm not going to do whatever until you prove to me that I need, that you're the kind of man I can trust or whatever. And that makes you uncooperative when the rest of the market is cooperating right off the rip. That means I'm going to pick somebody that's cooperative. And then they're going to pick somebody else who's cooperative. That means you uncooperative women will remain unpartnered, unmarried, meaning said, it Kevin. does not work. Well, that's not what I said. And that's not what I meant by what I was saying. All I was trying to say to you or try to explain was that I believe a lot of black women, including myself, choose what type of or choose who we're going to be right. submissive to we're not right. and submissive that's fine. to every man that tries sh- okay and uh, have, okay that. and have you ever chosen and what man have you chosen to submit to in your 38 years um <laughs> i would say about Thank you. three or four no no what, so what no no okay you and what's the longest relationship you ever had eight years one year i said eight years eight years how long ago was this? Um, this ran from about 2012 up until the summer. And why didn't this man choose to marry you? Um, since you submitted to him, I, he told me he didn't believe in marriage. That's all he told oh, me. Oh, okay. And when did he tell you this? And you're what? Um, he always told me this. When right. Did you ever want to get, did you want to get married? Um, I didn't really want to get married because I have two children already who are teenagers. And I just wanted to. Surprise. No, I, I didn't Surprise. want to get married. I I didn't. I'm not trying to be funny, man, but. I, no, I mean, it's funny. I mean, it's, it's funny, but I didn't. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. I'm but the thing is. I'm going to lie. But, but, but what I'm saying is. You Would have I to... like to have married him? Yes, of course. I was with him for eight years. We but didn't want to stop, marry stop, stop, stop. <laughs> All right. That's not funny. It did not yield the outcome you would have even wanted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct. You were with somebody for eight years who didn't want to get married. And you know you wanted to get married, but he didn't want to get married. But why'd you stay there? Number one. Number two, you got one kid, two kids. Were you married to either one of the fathers? 
both my children have the same father and we were not married. Why did you two, why did you, why did he choose not to marry you? Um, again, he, he, we were engaged, but, um, again, you know, I don't I, count we engaged. Young. I don't, no, no. Yeah. I we, I, we didn't get married because, you know, we were young. Things were, I was in my you, 20s. Ma'am, that's not that. young. That's an adult. I didn't want to get married. Okay. So exactly. listen. You're a perfect case. You're a headstrong, uncooperative black woman who does things the wrong way. You have babies without the benefit of marriage. You deal with men who don't want to marry you. It doesn't work. Do you have a daughter? Yes. She would you is. recommend would you recommend her to, to go down, to do what you did in life? Hell no. no Why? Absolutely not. Why? Because it's sad. Because it doesn't work. And that's all I'm trying to get you to understand no. is what you well, do. Oh, I know it doesn't work. But, but, I but. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it doesn't work. Obviously, I know that doesn't work because I'm 38 years old. But the whole notion, but the whole notion of I'm not going to do this until a man does that doesn't work. Femininity no, is I not. No, I didn't say that. I okay. didn't that way. I say most black Femininity is do. not something you turn on and off. All I was just saying was... But it's not something you turn on and off. You don't get to just keep talking, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to unmute you so you can say what you have to say, but you can't just keep doing that. Go ahead. Um, Can you hear me? I'm unmuted. Um, But, you know, I, I wasn't saying that all Black women are uncooperative. I just said a lot of us are, and it's because Why? we're choosy. We're just very choosy. What do you mean choosy? May not be choosy? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. So, let me get this right. There are no, 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 no. See, this is my time. You're uncooperative. Women like yourself are uncooperative because you're choosy. Please explain what that means. From my own experience, and I cannot speak for every black woman out there. I am a black woman who was born and raised in New York City, so. Being in my environment, there wasn't a lot of quality young men or, you know, uh, men. I asked about I'm being choosy, man. I, mean, I asked you about you'll be uncooperative because you're choosy. You give me environment. Why? What does that I mean? I mean, I'm choosy. I don't know. I can say at 38, I can still count on both my hands how many men I've had sex with in my entire but, life. But you haven't explained and, choosy, ma'am. Uncooperative explain being choosy. Explain in what way? What do you mean? Because what you're saying doesn't make sense. Choosy, choosy means picky. Selective. Uh, okay, so picky, you select. Yeah. So you select who you're cooperative with. Absolutely. All right, and look at what it's done for you. What do you mean? Because I'm not married. It's made me an unmarried woman at 38. Is that you know? I don't think that's the end all be all. Oh, think, okay, know, okay. I well, see, so you, now you're still talking. Pieces, you're still talking. See, why are you talking? Sorry, well, because you, because you can keep the, look at what it's done for you. You are strong, opinionated, and unwed. Look, ma'am. Maybe here's the funny thing. So many black women like yourself this think marriage is well. I don't need it. It's no big deal. Yeah, it really does matter. Your ability, your ability to, your ability to, okay, let me ask you a better question. Before I ask this, the guy you were with for eight years. Yes. By the way, did you go to college? Yes. Uh, did you graduate? Yes. I'm a PhD. Uh, a master's, PhD, anything? Bachelor's. Bachelor's. Does the guy you were with for eight years go to college? Uh, yes. Where did he go to school for? Um, he went to school for engineering. All right. Is he an engineer? No. Right. Who earned <laughs> who earned more, you or him? Now, at this point, me. Right. So, again, you're a mother of two who's with a man you out earned. What is that? Why is that relevant? Because you had to pick a lesser male. Because, ma'am, part of the reason is your uncooperative nature. Part of the reason you have two kids from another guy who was probably on the same level as the last guy. 
You don't that's get that's not the, true. Uh, okay, fine, but you don't get. But here's what is true: you don't higher value men do not select women like yourself to marry. They may hook that's up okay. with you. It, that's it's okay. A, it's okay. It's okay that okay. And see what I want you young women to hear is this is the this is these are your mamas and your nannies and your aunties. See, you're saying it's okay when young black women are saying, "I don't want any parts of your life, ma'am." I don't want to be strong like you and have to work until I die. I would I mean, rather. I, <laughs> I, I don't want. No, no. You got younger women all day, and even women they don't. Want, see, it's not okay. So you're all right with working until retirement age, but you, but you, but you, and being uncooperative and picky. Good, ladies. This is your choice. What do it this way. Do it this. Way. Well, yeah, man. Because not accurate. Oh, you know, it's very accurate. I said higher value men do not choose to make women like you their wives. And you said it's OK as if you wouldn't want to have one of these. You wouldn't want to have the lifestyle that these kind of men can provide. I think everyone would want to have that. Lifestyle. But in order to get it, you're going to have to shut your mouth and get on somebody's a program and under their authority. But that's not in you. So you get lesser men. That's all I'm saying. So if, if you're OK with having to work during a pandemic, during everything else, good. But then don't complain that you got to work. See, that's what other that's what other groups of women get. When you cooperate with a man, you don't have to pull out the cape and be the superwoman and go do everything. But so many black women like yourself, that's your pride. I, I'm good. I'm fine. I don't no, need you're it. Right. Can I say something? Because you're just going on. It just sounds what you're, like what you're saying is very negative. But I no, do it's very true. You say, no, no, ma'am. No, 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 no. I don't like when you is what I just said. Accurate, factual, precise. Not 100%. But I yes, didn't say 100%. Ma'am, this is our culture. And you said it's what I just what I just ran down was culture. The women in my family, the women in New York, California, Oklahoma, black women across the country fit into this culture. It's not negative. It's true. But you guys don't like the truth. You call the truth negative and bashing. And that's another problem we have in our culture. You have to stop calling the truth negative. Hell, somebody the other day called obesity white supremacy. What? No. Um, can I just say something? Go ahead. I agree with a lot of what you're saying, Kevin. Um, I know you do. I just, you just, you just going to fight. <laughs> you don't let me talk. I let you talk. You don't go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I agree with a lot of what you're saying, but I just also want to say that these high value men that you're talking about, we all know that they exist, but they are, they're not a needle in the haystack, but heck, you might as well say they are a needle in the haystack. And a lot of women, black women especially, are taught to be, you know, strong. Who taught you, who and taught you that? Who taught you that? Of course, that? our mother, I, we all know our mothers taught us well, that. Well, then that's wrong. I understand it, but let me just finish. I and yes, it's wrong. Our mothers taught us to be strong and to be that way because there wasn't, or maybe there wasn't a man around. Like for example, I didn't grow up with my father in my life. My grandfather died. Okay, where is your father alive? alive? No, my father died in two thousand and nine. Okay, let me ask you a question before you go on. Sure. Did you ever talk to your father and get his story from his lips? Never, no. I was too young. 2009, you were 27. No, I'm 38. And 2009 was 11 years ago. Oh, sorry. So then he didn't die in 2009. He died in 2000 and he died when I was like, oh, God. No, you're right. Yeah, I know I'm right. right. And my point is this. You are see. And what and what you're about to tell me is you guys are raised to be strong and your mother and and black women have raised their children to be softer men and harder women. And the problem is you never got your father's story from his own mouth. And you're old enough to know that your mother is probably going to give you the story to make her look good. Who, me? No, well, I will put it to you this way. One of the things I, I tell people to do, what I tell people to do often is you need to go get your father's story from his mouth because I am sorry, ma'am. Uh, I, 
let me just take women never well, women rarely take accountability women uh, women often make you know your dad was horrible or that if you didn't get his story you don't know what happened truly you got your mother's interpretation there's your mother's interpretation there's the father's interpretation and somewhere in the middle is the truth but at the end of the day you are an unmarried uncovered hard working single by choice black woman out here living on one income hard this is a hard life and you're seeing black men who are high value are a needle in a haystack in new york city there you can throw a rock on any block and see them and they're with non-black women they exist you were told they didn't exist they do and they if they exist why don't they pick you and a women like you and this is one of the reasons cooperation you were not taught to cooperate with a man a lot of black women are very cooperative because our mothers, even though cooperative a lot of us, with whom? let me just say this, Kevin, please. A lot of, a lot of, we're, a lot of black women are cooperative, I believe. And I will say that even though a lot of our fathers weren't in the household, a lot of us are cooperative. Cooperative we were, with whom? Because, listen, because we were raised by very domineering, strict black women. Who you still, you can't just keep, you can't say you're, oh, no, no, no. You cannot us. say you were cooperative and not. Say cooperative with That's uh, no, 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 no. You cannot just no, say you're cooperative. No, I'm going to mute you because you can't just say you're cooperative and not say with whom are you cooperating. You can unmute yourself, but see, you guys just throw stuff out there like we're supposed to accept it. Cooperative with whom? With the men I've been in relationships with, ma'am. Okay. Have you ever been in a relationship with a man who's a provider male who can yes. actually, that can pay the cost to be, okay. Yes. Yes. With my children's father. I'll give you that example. Yes. And why didn't he want to marry you? He did. I told you I didn't want to get married. But then why'd you have one and two babies? Because <laughs> I wanted two children. I wanted a boy and a girl, and I got what I wanted. Oh, Jesus. I I can't, you can't make this shit up. You can't. I'm being you can't make it up. You can't make it up. So this is, <laughs> why, this is why I this is why I say you can't make this up. Cooperate. He I wanted want he wanted no, he wanted to get married. She did not want to co this is woman says she's a cooperative. All she talks about is what she wants. Why didn't he why didn't he marry you? He wanted to marry me, but I didn't want to. That don't sound too cooperative. Anybody in the chat room, please tell me. And, and to her, this makes sense. Hold on, let me let me get back to Ale Elisa. Sure. Alisa. Sure. Yeah, I'm here. You notice? Okay. So you said you were cooperative. At times, yes. <laughs> I mean, go back and listen to this this portion of the thing, ma'am. You had a man that you were all right with having not only one child, but two children. But you didn't want to cooperate and marry him. Why? I didn't want to marry um, my children's father because when I got pregnant with my first child, I was in college and. to finish college and he wanted me to like drop out after i had the baby and uh ma'am mm -hmm. yes that makes no sense M women are married in college all day long let's get to the truth man you didn't want to marry him why I guess I didn't see I didn't see him see myself being with him for the rest of my life. Oh, but you will make a person, but you'll make you'll make but you'll give him the highest honor a woman can give a man. Crazy, right? Yeah, I know. 
No, it's not crazy. It's actually, it's sad. I mean, I I wasn't trying to get pregnant, but I didn't want to have okay. an abortion. Okay, no, so no, but you pregnant, did, but you did, pregnant. but you got pregnant anyway, and you were in college, so I don't give it to you being 13 years old. You're a college <laughs> student, and you had another baby. What's more likely is you didn't want to submit. You didn't want to have to be told what to do by nobody. You're all right having you all right having the kids, but you don't want to have a man telling you where to come, where to go, what to do, what not to do. No, I didn't. It wasn't. I was. I've always been a homebody, so uh, well, I, I never had matter. those issues. Doesn't matter. So, so in other words, you've decided to pick a baby, make a baby with a man who wanted to marry you. You didn't want to marry him, but he was good enough to reproduce with. And see. I'm I'm letting this go, man, because at the end of the day, well, let me ask, was he involved in his children's life? Yes, he still is. Good. Um, cooperation, man. Cooperation. And if um, I asked you, would you tell your daughter to go down the same path you're going down? No, I, I'd want my daughter to make better decisions. Oh, well, what was it, does that involve a husband and a family? Yes, of course. How That's is she how, going, how how is she how do you think she's going to get there with you as a mother as a shepherd? She sees an uncooperative woman. What do you mean a shepherd? I don't understand. You you you're shepherding her into into femininity into her adult feminine. She's under you. You will be her model for how she handles men. She'll say, "She didn't marry my dad." And then she was over here with this dude for 8 years and didn't marry him. You're not modeling marriage. You're not modeling relate. You're not modeling family. You're modeling do what you want to do. Have a man, have a relationship, fine. But anything, a real family. And see, that's what's missing in our community is our women are so independent from us. And it doesn't surprise me that you have, you, you value college more than you do a man. I did at that time. Yeah. Exactly. I, that's why. And here's the thing. Because when you're in your 20s, that's what you're thinking. Well, no, 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 no. Goes. That's what black women are thinking. Other groups of women go to college and get a husband. See, you are the only group of women. Excuse Kevin, me. So you're the only like group that. of women that think you can live and exist and do fine without your man. You're the only group in this country that thinks that makes any sense. Because most of Nope. Not going to let you get that off because we have a jacked up culture and your mother's warped you. And you've been told your daddies weren't there, such and so forth. Until you get your dad's side of the story, I'm not I'm not hearing all that. Hey, guys, welcome back to the Spend Like This today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to follow Papa Kevin Samuels on the other app, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube because he has more amazing videos and educative videos to the community you're there you want to uh find love you want to find married partner uh you want to know how to navigate around men and women we got you covered let's keep on promoting papa kevin samuel's work and let's keep on respecting him because he was undefend undefendable and he was undefeated he was a wise man, very intelligent, and he knew how to deal with our, our gender, the ladies. So uh, according to my statements, let's keep on respecting Papa Kevin Samuels because he is irrepressible. That is it. Let's keep on promoting his work and let us keep legacy on his name. Let legacy keep going and let these move videos keep moving so that we recognize his name worldwide because he did a great work. Because these videos, they are not only videos, but they are educative videos. So please don't forget to click the like and share button and subscribe for more notifications and for more that you need to know about these videos. So, guys uh first of all let's thank god for keeping us okay. for keeping us awake today because many didn't make it and many and using life supporting machines many have different problems but who are we to wake up life and clear so guys as uh today we are going to look at this confused lady she is can i call her a liar 
she is a liar because according to the videos she looks to be one of a what a she looks to be a liar because according to to her videos when she is asked the about her dad she is she isn't sure about when her dad died her age does not fit the time she says she lost her dad when she was young according to the culture relations she lost her dad when she's sensible and she is understanding but one funny thing i've realized about this lady she's so talkative first of all i think this is the worst part of life because you can't come to someone and you need someone to guide you in one way or the other and you you're talking like a life supporting machine you're not keeping quiet and you ha they have to remind you mom can you keep quiet really it doesn't work out at all because at least when you come be presentable and according to my own thinking that's why this lady is single because she she doesn't first think before talking she just acts just from there this and this okay you know at times when you you're talkative that's why they say a great talker is a great liar 100 percent, i say this a great talker is a great liar in the end of the day someone speaks like a life supporting machine so how what do you think about that person because if you speak and you can't sense in what you say that means you're useless you're going to be useless because at the end of the day you're just speaking nonsense you're not speaking what you have to speak but you're speaking nonsense and it doesn't work out at all so guys i think ladies let's learn this let's try to be uh you have to first listen to someone then you speak even in daily life that's why i'm telling you these videos help a lot you can't go to an interview uh it's a job interview whatever interview it is and you're speaking more than the person supposed to ask you you have to first listen then you answer you complete your points they'll give you time to complete your points but if you can't if you can if you can't like if you can't keep prayer that means even though you won't get enough time to speak out your points yeah guys that's our video so actually today's video it's all about self-respect while speaking and first listen to someone then you speak if you get that as a key to your life you never know because how will you have a relationship when you can't let a man complete what they have to speak yeah guys don't forget to like share subscribe to the spotlight news and don't forget the notifications as our motto always we are still in the charity season we are donating shoes clothes food and other stuff that can help the society uh, this time this time around we are donating to young african street kids and uh, to the sick people like like those with special diseases like eyebrow paralysis and so on we are going streets on streets by giving them the little we have guys if you have the little you have and you can share it with someone in the community you are in that's good if you can share it and you don't know where you start from our numbers are there for donations you can whatsapp us then we see what to do for you yes we do that we do that to help our society in one way or the other the little i get i can i help it with others so that they be happy because there are people out there when they don't know how they will live today or tomorrow but remind you the god of today is the god of tomorrow and is the god of yesterday so god can use you and you give someone what you can the little you can in form of appreciation in form of helping you never know you may have helped a life which was going to be lost thank you so much bye bye may god bless you love you all bye bye